والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله after the month of ramadan it's time of joy and happiness that the muslim in a state of joy and happiness because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to be happy and to be in joy. And this is how the Muslim fulfill the aspects of ubudiyah. To be a true servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be happy when the creator of the heavens and the earth, he wants you to be happy. So we have the Eid, the times of joy that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to the companions of the Prophet ﷺ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had changed the times of festivity and holidays for you by the two Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr which comes after Ramadan and Eid al-Adha that comes at the time of Hajj in the 10th of the Hijjah. These are the two celebrations and holidays for the Muslims. Our celebrations, our Eid, is celebrating the acts of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Other nations, they celebrate basically following their own desires by committing sins and by being in joy and happiness, not because they're obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but just to fulfill their desires. In Islam, why we should be happy and joyful in Eid? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had guided us and helped us to fast the month of Ramadan, to fulfill a pillar from among the pillars of Islam. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us to save ourselves from committing sins, guided us to witness Laylatul Qadr, guided us to do the night prayer and to fulfill the orders of Allah. This is the real joy in this life and in the hereafter. So Eid or celebrations or happiness is not just for those who wear new clothing. It's for the ones that were steadfast and obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of the early generations of Islam, they said, in the day of Eid, this is like the day of judgment, where the rewards are being distributed, given to the believers. The month of Ramadan is like this whole life of every individual. It started and it ended. And after the end of a Muslim's life, it's the time of Eid. It's the time of celebration. It's the time of happiness. As a result of what? As a result of being steadfast and patient and obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's not just a day, a day of joy for nothing. It's a day of joy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us throughout the month of Ramadan. So this is a very important aspect when it comes to the day of Eid. We should be in state of joy and happiness. Some people, they would say Muslims are suffering in different parts of the world and we need to feel for them. Of course we do. And of course we need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to relieve the Muslims all over the world from their sufferings. And this is a good time to do so. But that, but that, does, that does not contradict the fact that we are ordered to be joyful in this day because this is the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he guided us to do the acts of worship throughout the month of Ramadan. But this joy is conditioned with being obedient to Allah. Not to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to do the acts that would bring the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after being free from being humiliated by sins. The Muslim should not bring back on himself the humiliation of sins. Sins is a humiliating thing. And that's why Yusuf, alayhi salam, Prophet Yusuf, Joseph, alayhi salam, as we know in Surah Yusuf, he refused to commit the sin that the wife of Al-Aziz, she was ordering him to do it. And he chose to be present in the prison. He chose to be in the prison, but not to commit a sin. So the humiliation of the sin is far more than the humiliation or the physical humiliation that a person would get when he is imprisoned. This is a lesson for us. 
that the real humiliation when the person is away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a time of joy, a joy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered us being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfilling the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by doing the Eid prayer where everybody is gathered, all the Muslims, the men, the women and the children, even the women in their menses. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered them to go out with the people to pray in the open places so that they would witness this goodness and the dua, the supplications of the believers. So we get to know throughout the month of Ramadan the reality of this life. We have our iman increased so we need to be warned and careful that the shaitan, the devils are free now or they are freed after the month of Ramadan. And the person might be tempted and he might go back to the same state he was in before the month of Ramadan. So guarding ourselves, it's easier now because we tasted it. We were able to be steadfast throughout the month of Ramadan. We were able to be away from what is a necessity in our life, eating and drinking. So there's no excuse now for someone to say, I would go back to my sins. You prove to your own self that you can stay away from the necessities so what about staying away from what is evil? Steadfastness is the right thing for us to do now. To be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To enjoy the day of Eid of course. And to make it easy for our children. Because when people would celebrate this, the, the, the feasts and the festivities and the holidays of the disbelievers, they would come at the time of Eid and they wouldn't enjoy it. We need to show that joy because this is where we get rewards by enjoying the Eids, the holidays. And to be away from imitating the disbelievers and celebrating their holidays. This is our holiday. Our identity as Muslims should be very clear in this day. That we are Muslims. We celebrate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us. We have to have the identity. The Muslim identity has to be very clear. And this is one of the ways to show this identity. In our Sadness and our happiness, everything is controlled, is by the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to eat in the morning of the Eid before going to the Salah, after sunrise, after Fajr. He would eat, he would eat dates, odd number of dates, because it's haram for us to fast the day of Eid. And this is such a beautiful thing. See how the person, the Muslim, is a Muslim, submitted himself to the orders of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to fast throughout the month of Ramadan and we submitted. We fasted throughout the month of Ramadan without asking why. Because we are nothing but servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the first day after Ramadan, which is the day of Eid, it is haram, a sin to fast in this day. We have to eat. And it's the sunnah, very stressed. To eat before going to the Eid prayer. You get rewards by eating in the morning after Fajr before going to the Eid prayer. Why? To show your total submissiveness and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in things that would please you. Every person he would like to eat. So when we eat, we gain rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is the order of Allah. And this is the beauty of this religion. We eat because it's the order of Allah. We abstain from food and drinking because this is the order of Allah. So getting to know this bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have a great responsibility. We should never waste it. It's time for us to be steadfast in the religion of Islam, to spread the deen of Allah by our actions and not to be tempted by the desires of this world because very soon this whole life will be finished the same way as Ramadan was finished. See how it finished so fast? The same thing this life, the whole entire life will be all over. Some people would win, some people would lose. For those who lost, they should say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our sufficient and we need to repent to Allah and ask for forgiveness. And this is how our life should be till the moment of death. وَعْبُدَ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship your Rabb, your Lord, till the moment of certainty comes in which is death. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds in Ramadan, to guide us to be among His true servants and slaves, and to keep us alive till another Ramadan, another Ramadan, for the great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الله الله